Okay, fifth graders, <clears throat> we have 9-7. Not a whole lot left in chapter 9 here. Um, and this is using division to solve problems with unit fractions. And it's, it's really mostly word problems. So um, let's just kind of go through some of these here. The first, the first example I think can be helpful. Um, it says John plans to buy sheets of uh, plywood like the ones um, here and he needs to make uh, boxes and each box is a cube that has one-third foot edges. Now think about how many sides there are to a box. If I was to draw a box here, think about how many sides there are to a box. And it says, uh, how many sheets of plywood does John need in order to make uh, five boxes with leads? And it says it right here, remember a cube, I said a box, but remember a cube has six sides or six faces. Um, and so they go through the steps here in, in box, uh, box or area B here, I'll say. The boxes are one third foot cubes. Each sheet of plywood is a third foot wide and they demonstrate that here and then four feet long and so you need to first I would first simply divide four by one-third that's going to be 12 okay and then uh, how many boxes does he need to make it's five boxes and of course with lids and uh, there's six sides to each one and so um, he's going to end up having 30 pieces in all so the question is how many sheets of plywood does John need for five boxes with lids um, 30 divided by 12 uh, is 2 with a remainder of 6 so he needs at least three sheets of plywood I think that was kind of a complicated example they gave but um, let's go a little bit further here um, write a real world problem that can be solved by first adding 24 and 36 and then dividing by one quarter. Find the solution to your problem and explain your answer. Um, so I think in the um, um, in the teacher's manual I think they used a trail mix so some someone has um, Let's see here, 24 cups of peanuts. And someone else has 36 cups of uh, walnuts. And so you would add those up and divide by four or one, one quarter to find the solution to your problem. So it'd be 24 plus 36 equals, I'll just say C, and then it would be C divided by one quarter. And that would be the solution to the problem. And you guys can go ahead and do that. Okay, let's see here. Example or guided practice example one. Um, it says, why were additional questions answered to help solve the problem? Um, well, I, th I think it, um, I would say it helps. Explain the different ways or steps to solve a problem. Okay, so what equations were used to solve the, the example on page 410? So remember, that when they say equations, we have to have an equal sign, all right? So um, I'll give you I'll give you two of them, and you guys can write down the third on your own. 
Um, so 1 was um, 30 divided by 12 equals 2, remainder 6. Another equation was 4 divided by 1 third equals 12. And then there was another one. And um, so that's my, that's going to be my question for you guys. Um, my, the first one I'll ask you. Okay, so what's the third equation for number two? Number three, um, what do we have here? It says, Tamara needs tiles to make a border for a bathroom wall. The border will be nine feet long and a third foot wide. Each tile measures one third by one third. Okay, so each box of tiles contain or each box of tiles contains six tiles. How many boxes of tiles does she need? Write two equations that can be used. Well, I'm just happy with one equation. So, um, um, so let's see here. How about how about nine? Starting off with nine, because it's nine feet long, divided by one third. Okay. And what's that going to be? That's going to be 27. All right. And then, um, let's see here. Each box has six tiles. So 27. Now we need to figure out um, how many boxes she's going to need. 27 divided by 6 is 4, remainder 3. Um, so she would need, right, two equations, okay, so, um, let's see here. Interesting, they've got five boxes are needed. Okay, there you go. So number three is done for you. Let's move this down. Number four, it says Robert wants to use all the ingredients to make, uh, listed in the table at the right to make the trail mix. How many half pound packages can he make? Okay, so he's going to use all the ingredients, the dried apples, the pecans, and the raisins. So, um, well, let's see here. What would you do? You would add them up, and then um, uh, divide it by one half. And then you'd have your answer. And so that's going to be a question I'm going to ask. Okay. And I just told you how to do that. I'll say it again. You're going to add them up. And then you're going to get, get a total. And you'll divide that total by uh, one half. And then you'll have your answer. So that'll be uh, question number two. I will ask somebody for both of those. Number five, Rachel uses two thirds of a package of cornbread mix and she will use equal parts of the leftover mix, that'd be one third, to make two batches of cornbread. Hmm. Uh, what fraction of the original package will she use for each batch? So this would be one, uh, and we're going to subtract two thirds. Okay, so that leaves us what? One third. That's pretty obvious. And then, uh, and now we're dividing one third by two, because then she's using leftover to make two batches. Well, what's one third divided by two? <laughs> 